So the OnePlus 13 series is going to launch soon and we will get to see the next gen OnePlus 13 and 13R. And FYI, more people are interested in the 13R as it will offer the best specs in the affordable segment. However, there is another device with the same specs as the 13R currently available in the store which is the OnePlus 12. A quick explanation of OnePlus strategy is that they will use the previous year's CPU in this year's R series device. Following this tradition, OnePlus will utilize the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in the upcoming OnePlus 13R which is already being used in the current OnePlus 12. Now the big question is whether you should wait for the OnePlus 13R or purchase the available OnePlus 12 in the stores. Let's talk design first. According to the report, the OnePlus 13R will have a design similar to the OnePlus 12. Unfortunately, that means we are not getting anything too exciting in this department. However, the big change comes with the display. The OnePlus 13R is said to use the new 6.7 inches BOE X2 display whereas the OnePlus 12 rocks a 6.8 inches Pro XDR display from Samsung. There is also a chance we see the 13R with a micro curve display similar to the Xiaomi 14 Pro. In the camera setup, we might get a letdown as the 13R will get a 50 megapixel plus 8 plus 2 megapixel sensors. On the other hand, the OnePlus 12 has a good 50 megapixel plus 48 plus 64 megapixel and if you are a camera centric person, then the OnePlus 12 is a far better option than the 13R. However, before making a decision, let's explore the other features of the both phones. In terms of battery life, the OnePlus 13R will surpass the OnePlus 12. The 13R will feature a 6100 mAh capacity along with OnePlus new Glacier battery technology which is said to have a several advantages over the standard batteries. As for the performance, as I mentioned before, both phones will run on Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Currently the OnePlus 12 is a great phone for the price and the OnePlus 13R will launch around the same price tag. If we set aside the ongoing issues with the OnePlus devices, which we haven't heard any issues with the OnePlus 12, which is a good sign. Now, if you compare the OnePlus 13R and the OnePlus 12 side by side, the 12 offers more value for money if we ignore some of the upgrades in the 13R. It ultimately depends on the users and how they see both phones. Some may choose the OnePlus 12, while others may prefer to wait for the 13R for that new device launch experience. I know many people will choose the OnePlus 12 because the price will drop and with bank discounts the OnePlus 12 might cost less than OnePlus 13R which is a great deal considering the specs. Feel free to drop a comment letting me know which OnePlus phone you are planning to snag. With that being said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.